This video is brought to you by Webcar Studio. If you need a landing page, CRM, or any web application, please contact us at hi at signwebcar.xyz. Hi everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we are going to implement a simple search API with Django. My name is Ali Company, and in this channel, I'm going to talk about Python, Django, Vue, Nuxt, and everything related to programming. Please watch to the end of the video, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. As you can see, I already created the Django project, installed DRF, uh, which uh, is Django REST framework, created an app called Movie, and inside it I created a model class uh, called Movie as well, and I imported IMDB movies information from this CSV file. So let's jump to the code and implement our search API. The first step is to create a simple serializer. I'm using model, model serializer and add these fields to it. The next step is to create our view set. I first import some dependency which we need. After that, I create a class called movie search view set. In order to create this class, I'm using generic view set to speed up creating our API. For handling our search, I'm editing get query set method. I'm getting what users want to search and put it inside the text variable. After that, let's check this variable and see whether it's empty or not. And if so, let's return the default value of the query set. Finally, let's filter our query set and return records, uh, which consists of the phrase which users searched. The final step to, is to create a URL for our view set. I'm using rotors for that. So let's test our API. Inside the browser, I go to the URL address. As you can see, because we didn't search anything, it returned all movies. Now to see to search, we uh, should simply create a parameter in the URL called query and put what we want to search inside it. Let's say I want to check a movie's information, but I don't remember its full name. I know its title consists of the word eternal. So let's search it. As you can see, our API is returning all the movies which their title consists of Eternal. But let's say I remembered uh, besides Eternal, our movie's title consists of Mind 2. So let's search Eternal Mind. But our API didn't return any movie. Why? Am I wrong and there is no movie which its title consists of both Eternal and Mind? No, I'm not wrong. And there is a movie called Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which is a great movie. But why our API didn't return anything? The reason is uh, that Django's ORM is looking for exact phrase of Eternal Mind in the title of each movie and it couldn't find any. Be aware, if we search, for example, Eternal Sunshine, uh, the API returns the desired movie. But what should we, know, we do now? I want our API to find movies even if someone remembers only part of its title. So let's implement it. The first step is to separate the phrase which users search, searched word by word. In order to do this, I'm using a split method with a space delimiter. 
Now we need to make a query to database and tell it to return movies which their title consists of these words. So we need to import some new dependencies. After that I'm using reduce method. But what is reduce method? The reduce method uh, gets two parameters, a function and a sequence and apply that particular function to all of this, uh, the sequences, uh, sequence elements. In our case, our function is logical and, and our sequence is a list of queries to database. The last step is to return our query set. Now let's test the API again. As you can see, our API now can find right movie if we search Eternal Mind. So we created our search API. But wait, is this really the best way to create search API with Django? The answer to this question is yes and no. This implementation is good enough if you have a small user base. But let's say we have a real website with thousands of users. Isn't the search uh, API become too uh, slow? Yes, it does. And if we want to create much, much faster search API, we need to use Elasticsearch. And the good news is that uh, we are using it in the next video. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that video. Until the next video, goodbye and have a nice day.